So I missed my scheduled flight to Thailand. I had everything booked and secured. I had my tourist visa approved. I had my alternative state quarantine booked. My travel medical insurance secured and fulfilled all the requirements that the Thai consulate wanted me to fulfill before traveling to Thailand under the tourist visa. I had it all in the bag. But the one thing that eventually screwed me over, which I eventually had to rebook my flight and will screw a lot of people over, is the 72 hour COVID test. I bet you guys are wondering why I'm walking the streets of San Francisco and not on a flight to Thailand. Well, you see guys, I got screwed. The first clinic that I took my COVID test from guaranteed a one to two business day turnaround time. However, there was a COVID delay. So I ended up missing my flight and having to reschedule and deal with all this other crap. So now I'm on my way to taking a second COVID test this week. Word of advice guys, go to a clinic that offers next day results, next day PCR results. Otherwise you're just gonna get screwed. All right guys, so I just left San Francisco and just left my second COVID clinic of this week. I did not take a COVID test. Thankfully, when I went to the second COVID clinic that does next day PCR COVID test, I spoke with a doctor, very, very understanding and helpful man. He was a very selfless and very helpful guy. I told him about my whole situation with a mix up of needing to postpone my flight and then I have to po postpone uh, a week out to get all my paperwork with the Thai consulate and Thai consulate adjusted. And he was like, without a hesitation, without a skip of the beat, he was like, sure, let's reschedule you. Go meet up with my receptionist. And I'm going downstairs, meeting up with the receptionist. She was also incredibly helpful and understanding and just ended up rescheduling my next day COVID test, which ended up being close to $400. Next day PCR COVID tests in the United States are not cheap. They are freaking expensive. However, you know, if you're paying top dollar for premium service, you're gonna end up getting premium service. That eliminates stress and heartache, which was what I was dealing with yesterday. So if you guys are in the San Francisco Bay Area and if you guys are needing to fly to like Taiwan or Thailand or Peru or Guatemala that requires next day COVID testing within this short 72 hour or 96 hour window wherever you're traveling to, then I highly recommend checking out my medical doctor group on Sutter Street in San Francisco. It's expensive, but you're definitely gonna get excellent service. Back to Future Forest. Future Forest here. One thing that I wanna advise you guys so that you guys don't make the same mistake that I did is that when you guys are making future travel plans, whether it's Thailand or Taiwan or the Maldives, and some of these countries require a 72 hour to 96 hour COVID test, is that you guys go with a clinic that offers PCR COVID tests with next day turnaround results. Do not gamble or take a chance with these clinics that offer a one to two business day turnaround because we are in the month of December with COVID cases increasing all over the world, unfortunately. Therefore, more people are getting tested and results will most likely be delayed. And you're gonna end up missing your flight like I did because your COVID test results did not show up on time. So for my case, I took my PCR COVID test with Circle Medical in San Francisco. Their website states a one to two business day turnaround time. My flight was scheduled to depart on Thursday at 12.05 a.m., essentially midnight. I didn't get my results until almost eight hours later at 7.59 a.m., way past my flight. Thanks a lot, Circle Medical. Bastards. Because my results came back late, I now have to rebook my flight my alternative state quarantine and get my certificate of entry and declaration form amended with the proper flight departure dates through the Thai consulate. And if this happens to you guys, which I pray it doesn't, then you will need to give the Thai embassy or consulate seven business days to give you new COEs and declaration forms. There is an important discrepancy that I wanna point out. In the Thai Embassy of Washington DC's website states that they will allow you to depart if your COVID-19 test results are issued, not taken, issued. So it means when your COVID-19 test results are emailed back to you is when the 72 hour timer starts. Even though that it states that on their embassy website that as long as your COVID-19 test results are issued, then it's fine. However, I highly, highly advise you guys not to go with that option and to be more on the safe side and go with next day turnaround testing. What happens if you're trying to check into your flight and whoever's checking your required documents points out that you took a COVID test five days before 
your flight departure and he starts he or she starts hassling you about it. And then you're gonna have to cite the Thai embassy COVID regulations online and it becomes this crazy stressful situation when you're just trying to leave the country. In the very end, I only have myself to blame. I should have gone with the more secure option of guaranteed next day COVID testing results instead of the one to two business day COVID test. I had the chance and I didn't take it all because I wanted to save $150. Even though you're going to have to pay a lot more money with next day COVID testing through a private clinic, they will save you the time and stress from worrying about when your COVID test results will arrive. Now, because of my situation, I am putting a lot of unnecessary stress on myself, my girlfriend, and my friends who are trying to help sort this mess out. Anyways, do not make my mistake. Go with PCR COVID testing with next day results. If you guys can do me a huge favor, give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you want to help support this channel. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you guys in Thailand. Hopefully. Peace.